Tom Ford penned a ruthless review of the House of Gucci biopic, starring Lady Gaga, Adam Driver and Jared Leto, for the Digital Weekly Airmail. The former Gucci creative director, 60, who is depicted in the film, began his essay by writing that he recently survived a screening of the two-hour and 37-minute film. He quipped that the feature rivaled the nighttime soap dynasty but with a bigger budget. Somehow I felt as though I had lived through a hurricane when I left the theater, the designer confessed. Was it a farce or a gripping tale of greed? I often laughed out loud, but was I supposed to? Before airing out the rest of his thoughts to readers, Ford acknowledged his opinion may be biased since he knew and worked with Maurizio Gucci, who was murdered just steps away from his office in Milan 26 years ago. Related ARTICLES It is hard for me to divorce reality from the glossy, heavily lacquered soap opera that I witnessed on screen, he explained, considering how familiar he was with many of the other players in this saga. The Nocturnal Animals director continued, I was deeply sad for several days after watching House of Gucci, the reaction that I think only those of us who knew the players in the play will feel. Ford said it was hard for him to see the humor in camp and something that was so bloody. In real life, none of it was camp, the father of one added. It was at times absurd, but ultimately it was tragic. Still, he predicted, with Gagas and Driver's strong performances, powerful over-the-top portrayals by the entire cast, impeccable costumes, stunning sets, and beautiful cinematography, the film, I suspect, will be a hit. Splash the Gucci name across things and they usually sell, he concluded. While he doesn't comment on actor Reeve Carney's portrayal of him in the film, Ford did not hold back in criticizing other members of the cast. At times, when Al Pacino, as Aldo Gucci, and Jared Leto, as Aldo's son Paolo Gucci, were on screen, I was not completely sure that I wasn't watching a Saturday Night Live version of the tale, he snarked. Ford remarked Leto's brilliance as an actor was literally buried under latex prosthetics.